guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are doing some more subscriber battles. It's been a while, so I'm kind of I'm doing some more. I've been doing rating battles lately. And today we are against Zespa. This guy comes in with his Azumarill, and there was no way I was going to let him get a belly drum off on me. So I used knockoff with my Bio Sharp, which took his berry away. And then he does go for the belly drum, which is unlucky for him because it takes him down to like hardly any HP and even though he seems really scary even like that Sucker Punch is just going to sort him out so unlucky Azumarill there could have been a problem but I did manage to sort him out before he became any kind of a pest to me so then he brings in his Heracross I did not want to be taking any fighting type moves to buy sharp, so I, I switched into my Cathagrigus because I thought that would be the best decision because one, he's not going to get affected by fighting type moves and two, he's pretty bulky and he's a bit annoying. So he did go for the brick break and didn't touch him so that forces him to switch out and he switches into his Aegislash which takes the infestation that was meant for Heracross because I wanted to trap him in, didn't get to so he goes for a sword stance and there is no way again that I'm letting him buff up and just destroy me with Aegislash so burnt in Will-O-Wisp and sorted that problem out too and I was gonna go for a protect on the next turn to kind of just stall him out a little bit but after all the damage was being taken I thought you know what I can take this guy so even though he does go for a shadow sneak it doesn't do too much even though it's super effective and Hex just takes him out because obviously he's, he's burnt and it's gonna do a lot of damage anyway and it's super effective uh, so I get to heal some more from leftovers there as well so I'm pretty much looking good on Cathagogus right now and then he brings in his Houndoom who slaps me with a dark horse and I did think that he was going to be able to survive that but he didn't so he faints and I come in with my Blastoise I've been trying this guy out, doing some mega evolving on him and I've been playing around with his moveset a little bit so if it changes then I apologise if it's not the same as what you guys told me to do. I've been trying some new things. And he takes a dark pulse and even though he takes it quite comfortably it does flinch me so I'm like getting my, my butt handed to me by this guy. And I'm nearly dead but I do have water pulse and obviously with his uh, ability that makes it even more powerful and with a super effective that just gets rid of him and Greninja comes in and obviously he's a lot faster than Blastoise so I thought I might as well sack Blastoise off and let Greninja take care of him so that I can bring in a, another Pokemon to try out which is what you guys have told me to bring in and that is Spinner, the little drunken teddy bear and he's so scary that this guy even switches out he's so terrifying <laughs> um, and I, I went for Trick Room because I thought I would be slower but I wasn't uh, wait no yes I was so I'm gonna hit him with super power and it doesn't do a lot <laughs> but my, my stats have risen so this might work out in the next turn if he survives which he does obviously he's got both of Slash <laughs> it's me being stupid um, and I go for the return, hope him some damage, and still nothing. This guy is so rubbish. Um, and he gets a crit, he didn't need a crit, I was on 1 HP. So, see you later, Spinder. We'll have to try him again. Uh, so, I ring in my Azumarill to try and clean up after that disgusting mess that was Spinder. And I go for the belly drum obviously because that is gonna get me nice and strong and I can hit him a lot harder than I would be able to without and I get absolutely destroyed again because he comes at me with bullet seed not gonna go down well as it doesn't <laughs> as you see is dying 
Um, so I'm getting like pretty freaked out at this point. Mega Heracross is like, it's too good, too good. So he uses Shadow Claw on my Dragonite, which breaks my multi scale, but this is where this match becomes mine. I literally just spam a Dragon Dance for like two turns. Um, and the dimensions went back to normal, which is awesome for me because he was slower than me, so he was going first. And now I'm faster as well from the Dragon Dance. And he did another Shadow Claw, takes me just below half. But he, he switches then because I think he realises he's not going to be like able to stand what's coming next. And the Dragon Claw one hit KOs his Gengar. Um, so I'm glad that I don't have to put up with that thing. And next is Greninja again, who I thought could have posed a little bit of a threat because obviously it can run Ice Beam, but no. Also one hit KO'd by the Dragon Claw. Two times Dragon Dance for the win. And we're back to Heracross, who sadly does not stand a chance either. Takes the Dragon Claw and one hit KO. So that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed it, please make sure to comment below and rate and follow me on Twitter.